Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. What is up? It's your boy Serato back at you one more time again. And in today's video, we are starting something fresh, something new. This is the new series. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I should name this series, uh, like for real, for real. Um, so maybe drop some suggestions down below in the comment section. Uh, let me know what, what do you think a good name for this series would be. I'm thinking all types of custom masks. I was going to go with hype mask series, but uh, that would limit me to just doing like you know, Supreme and Bait and stuff like that, uh, which I'm gonna be able to do like, you know, other art stuff, you know, say like Galaxy print, you know, Stormtrooper masks or, you know, uh, a Rose print Power Ranger mask, like helmet or whatever, you know, Power Ranger helmet. Stuff like that I feel like would be really cool too. So I don't wanna limit it to just, you know, Supreme and Bape and Hype stuff or like Off-White or whatever it is. Um, but I will obviously be doing those, but I think it needs to have a name that will encompass everything. So let me know what you think down below. I'm not sure yet, uh, I'll come up with something. Uh, this might be a temporary name on this video here, but we'll see. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump into this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint this. This is my second mask I've done, obviously. Um, if you see my Instagram, which is here. If you see my Instagram, you will know um, that this is the second mask I've done. This is the second Supreme mask I've done. Um, but I feel like this is a good starting point for this mask here. Um, it's great for Halloween. You know, I used it for my costume stuff yesterday. It came out dope. So let's get into it. Let's paint this mask. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Make sure you drop a like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, turn on that bell, turn on those notifications, and I will see you at the end. Now I'm gonna need to go put some batteries in this thing. A real black pepper, aren't you? All right, so first I'm gonna go ahead and put some batteries in this bad boy. I don't want to risk uh, ruining the paint afterwards, you know, getting here with screwdrivers and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the batteries in first, make sure we're good to light it up and everything like that for the picks afterwards, and uh, jump right into the tape and everything else. Right, now I've got everything masked off uh, properly. It's a lot of taping on here to make sure, you know, we keep key areas, you know, non-painted. Um, but now I've got all that taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my stencils. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the computer, use my stencil machine, my silhouette, and I'm gonna go ahead and print all those out and then lay them on the helmet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my base layer of paint, you know, my white layer. This is gonna allow me to lay the stencils over top of that and uh, then re-black out later to give us that nice crisp white effect. Uh, I'm gonna have to actually add some varnishes and finishers to this base layer here to make sure that this that, that, that paint really holds and that uh, the stencils aren't gonna rip off the paint as I'm taking them off later. Um, that's gonna be real key. I'm gonna go ahead and put our full layer of paint down. This is gonna be our finishing layer of our black, and I'm also gonna do some red trim. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape and wrap these bad boys up. 